Hey sports fans, there was a lot of exciting news in Philly sports this week. Let's start with the Big East champions, Villanova Wildcats. David McCormick muscled his way to 25 points. Ochi Abai was nearly perfect from the field and added 21 points. And hot shooting Kansas waist to a big early lead before withstanding every Villanova one for a 81-65 victory Saturday night that sent the Jayhawks back to the national title game. Christian Braun also had 10 points, including a key three-pointer to ward off a comeback late in the game. Gillespie playing in his 156th game for the Wildcats hit five three-pointers and finished with 17 points, while Slater hit four threes and had 16 points. Samuels finished with 13 points in the final game of his college career. Villanova watched the lone number one seed to reach the semifinal score the game's first 10 points and eventually build a 19-point cushion. And despite big nights from Colin Gillespie, Brandon Slater, and Jermaine Samuels, the short-handed and undersized Wildcats never made it all the way back. Nova for short loses to Kansas in a Final Four matchup, 81-65. We will have to wait until November for the Villanova Wildcats to return to the court. Sixers center Joel Embiid had 44 points and 17 rebounds. James Harden recorded his second triple-double with Philadelphia, and the 76ers locked up a playoff spot with a 112-108 win over the Cleveland Cavaliers on Sunday night. Joel made 17 of 20 free throws, added 5 blocks and 3 assists, and 38 minutes of another MVP resume builder. Embiid also made 3 three-pointers. James Harden had an off-shooting night, 4 of 13, but finished with 21 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. Cleveland trying to hang on to the number seven playing spot was within three points after Harden made two free throws with 11.2 seconds left in the game, but failed to close the gap. The final score was Sixers 112, Cavaliers 108. Congratulations to the Philadelphia 76ers for clinching a playoff spot. The Philadelphia Union put an end to Charlotte Football Club's two-match winning streak taking a 2 0 victory at Subaru Park on Saturday on goals from Julian Kawanza and Daniel Gazdag. The Union largely controlled the contest throughout, shooting out to an early lead just four minutes after kickoff threw a ruthless counterattack finished off by Kawanza. The sequence started with a ball over the top from Kai Wagner that found Sergio Santos in stride allowing the Brazilian to pick out Kawanza with a cross for a first-time finish. Philly added to the lead just after second-half kickoff on a goalkeeper error by Charlotte Christian Kalina, who inadvertently hit a pass out of the back directly into the path for Daniel Gazdag. The Hungarian capitalized, slotting an easy finish into an open net. Final score? Union 2, Charlotte Football Club, Neil. Good luck to the Philadelphia Union in their next match against the Columbus Crew on Saturday. The Phillies have named Jimmy Wallins special advisor to the president of baseball operations for the Phillies. He will periodically assist the major league club in an on-field capacity and advise the front office with baseball operations decisions. A 2008 World Series champion and the 2007 National League Most Valuable Player. Wallins is the franchise's all-time leader in hits and doubles and was part of the core that captured five consecutive National League East championships from 2007 through 2011. Wallins will go on to make three All-Star teams and win four Gold Glove Awards, and a Silver Slugger Award, or as a member of the Phillies over 15 seasons.
Prior to joining the baseball operations staff, Wallace had served as a special advisor since 2019, doing a variety of jobs on both the baseball and business sides of the organization, including coaching, meeting with sponsors and suite holders, fan engagement, and community outreach. He joined the broadcast team that same year and will continue to be an on-air analyst for a select number of games for NBC Sports Philadelphia. Welcome back to Philadelphia, Jimmy. Former Eagle safety and captain Malcolm Jenkins announced his NFL retirement after 13 years in the National Football League. The veteran was instrumental in the Eagles defense, moving around the field and playing with multiple positions, all while collaborating with defensive coordinator Jim Schwartz on the sideline. He was every bit a leader on the field and off of it, and was always willing to help his teammates. During his time with the Eagles, Jenkins amassed 515 total tackles with 32 for loss, 58 defended passes, 12 forced fumbles, and 6 fumble recoveries, 11 interceptions, 4 return for touchdowns, and 5.5 and sacks. He also didn't miss a single game in his 6 years in Philly, all while taking nearly 100% of the defensive snaps. He won his second Super Bowl with the Eagles, was voted to three Pro Bowls, and made huge contributions in the community. We would like to wish Malcolm Jenkins a very happy retirement. Jimmy Rollins appeared in several music videos for which artists? The answer, MC Hammer. That is a wrap. You can check me out on my podcast at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me on Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC in Cherry Hill. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Let's Talk Sports.